Have you ever watched AMVs from top editors like Sanchez, Gozo, Nikovex, and me? And wonder how do they create such seamless transitions? Well, you are in the right place. In this video, I am going to break down one of the cleanest transitions step by step so that you can start using that in your own edits. By the end of this tutorial, you will master this transition and take your AMV editing to the next level. So stick around, grab your software and let's get started. Select both the clips in a way that both are from same scene with different zooms. And now lower the opacity for the second clip. And also decrease its scale value and move it somewhere on his face like it matches the scene. And then add null layers and parent them. Press S on your keyboard to open scale properties and make a keyframe and move that keyframe towards the right. And then change its anchor point somewhere like this. And increase the scale value at the beginning somewhere around 550. And increase them and open graph editor and copy my graph. And for the second null layer, open both scale and position property and make a keyframe somewhere here. And at the end of the first clip, change its values and adjust it like I did. And now easy is them and do the same graph that I did or you can follow the graph and copy my graph. Now add another null layer and then open scale properties and make a keyframe at the beginning and at somewhere around here increase the value by a little and then increase them and follow my graph. Now let's make this transition even smoother by adding some of the effects. First of all, add an adjustment layer and add an effect called CC white type and make a keyframe and change its values to zero and move the keyframes towards the left where our transition begins and at the center reset the effect and again at the end of our transition change its values to zero and adjust it until you get your desired output. And now add another adjustment layer and add an effect called radial blur and change its type to zoom and make a keyframe for the amount at the beginning and move to the center and change its value something like 65 and at the end reset its values to 0 and you can see how the effect works and also change its center point to somewhere on its face and this is how it looks after adding this effect. Then add another adjustment layer and add an effect called Lumetric Color and open basic correction and in that make a keyframe for the saturation and decrease its value something like that and go to end and reset its values from the beginning and the end and add another adjustment layer and now add BCC half tone effect and go to shape tool and select ellipse tool and double click on it to make a shape like that and change its mode to subtract and also increase its feather amount and make a keyframe for mask expansion by decreasing its value and at the beginning increase the value that the mask didn't show on the screen and copy the same value for the end also and play around its opacity values until you get a desired output and also change its blending mode to multiply now add motion tile and wave warp effect on another adjustment layer 
and for the wave width change the wave height to 30 and wave width to 350 and make a keyframe for wave height and change its value to 0 in the beginning and the end and select the keyframes and easy is them and open graph editor and copy the graph and add an overlay that blends with this transition and adjust it and that's it for today if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to hit that like button and also drop a comment on what tutorial should i do next and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss videos like this thanks for watching and i will catch up in the next one